Sure. What's on your mind? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction. Not knowing if you and your family were all right. Oh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden, not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, Mum, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. At first it was the work, busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, Mum. Memories of you and the hubby, young Sean. Of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the husband, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. I'm glad you stuck around. Oh, Mum, you don't know how good it is to hear you say that. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as more. I consider you to be family too, Codsworth. We're in this world for the long haul. Together. Mom, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? atmosphere is rather unpleasant. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Miss Power Armor. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Looks like you got some trouble. I could help. Help? What are you, some kind of hired gun? Or maybe you can talk some sense into Trudy over there. Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. 
And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, I might have sold him some jet. Then some more. Then a lot more. Now he's in debt. Scumbag, you made him an addict. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Look, he wanted a product, I sold him a product. And I expect to get paid for my product. Now you gonna help us out or what? I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Hi. I saw you and that poison seller talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Why? What's this all about? Oh, that Ken Pusher didn't tell you? He got my boy hooked on Jet, sold him a ton of junk on credit, and now he expects me to pay him off. That bastard ain't getting a single damn cap from me. I want to help you, Trudy. What can I do? Get rid of Wolfgang. I don't know what he offered you, but I'll pay you a hundred caps to kill that Jet-selling scumbag. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. You crossed the wrong. I'll kill all you ten pushers. <laughs> I got a store to run here. You gonna buy? You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Gonna pass. Oh, I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Sure. Let's take a look. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. 